Welcome to Eye for Science. Today we're going to demonstrate what happens when you freeze regular household items down to 77 Kelvin. To do this we're going to use liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is stored in high pressure tank to raise its boiling point. It's used to cool various things, for instance food products for transportation or special materials to make them superconducting. Nitrogen is the seventh element in the periodic table and boils at 77 Kelvin. This means that the liquid state is very, very cold. And these are the things we're going to freeze. An apple consists of a lot of water, which is containing small cells. Around these cells is a cellular wall and when the water freezes, it expands, causing the wall to break. This weakens the structural integrity of the fruit, making it very fragile. And basically what happens to the apple also happens to the orange and the egg. The sausage and the candy are moderately elastic in room temperature, but as the temperature decreases their atoms and molecules slow down. Because of this, they're less capable of dissipating the energy caused by the mechanical stress, thus reducing the elasticity of the materials, forcing the energy to spread in form of cracks instead. In room temperature, the electrons in the metal are organized in a cloud around the atom. But when the temperature is lowered, the atoms form crystals instead, and the electrons form around each crystal instead the whole structure. This makes the metal somewhat more brittle. Although the crackers are very cold, you can actually eat them. You might think that it will stick to your tongue, which is the case when you lick a lamppost in the winter. But the cracker has such little mass that it takes very little energy to heat it up. Therefore, the saliva doesn't have enough time to freeze before the cracker is the same temperature as your mouth. <laughs> <laughs>